Hello, my name is B. Christopher Patton, and I am an Adaptive Technology IT Specialist. This is the second in a series of videos about the JAWS for Windows screen reading software. Now, last time I discussed the Startup Wizard, a useful tool when you're installing JAWS. There's various functions and parameters that you might want to set up before you actually use JAWS, and this is a good way to you do that without having to mess with the setting center or the JAWS configuration manager. Today we'll be discussing how to change the speech and voice parameters. We went into that a little bit last time. Today I'm going to go more specific. Uh, last time the speech parameters we changed were all across the board globally. Today, I'm going to go into application-specific speech settings and cursor-specific speech settings. I'm going to go in, there's uh, four things we're going to cover today. First, why you'd want to do this. Why you would not want to have just one, one speech setting just all across the board for everything. Uh, and also, why you'd want to maybe there's maybe you want to change languages for whatever reason you can do that in JAWS and I'm going to explain why you'd want to do that the second thing I'm going to explain how to set up a speech profile third how to make that profile application specific and four I mentioned being able to change languages I'll show you how to modify an existing profile to speak a different language so let's get started. Now why would you want to change the speech profiles? Why would you want different voices for different applications or different languages? One is cosmetic. Uh, just some voices are going to sound better than others and if you're reading for pleasure or just going through emails you might want a more human sounding voice. With JAWS, you are now able to actually change synthesizers. If you do a say all command, you can have to say all in a different speech synthesizer in a different voice than you would if you were going through a document line by line. Let me give an example of how and, of, uh, how and why that works. Uh, JAWS, adaptive document, desktop, untitled notepad, edit. Okay, I'm in the untitled notepad. I have copied and pasted a document from my blog, actually the last blog I wrote. Now this is using the Eloquence software. Now the Eloquence software is, as you can hear, it's a little bit robotic sounding. It can be a little bit jarring on the ears, a little bit hard to understand. Uh, this is what the file would sound like read in eloquence. Normally when I write these blogs I write about my experiences with kidney disease, but this time I decided to do something different. Anyone who has read my Facebook page knows that I don't have problem problems. Okay. There's eloquence. I hit control to stop speaking. Uh, eloquence is a good synthesizer. It's been JAWS ever since I've used it. Uh, version, that's, I used it in version 3, 3.2. It's been installed on the CD. Whenever you start to install JAWS, Eloquence is the synthesizer that activates so a visually impaired person can install it without sighted assistance. So it's a very good speech synthesizer. It just doesn't sound human. It can be, if, especially if you're not used to it, the speech can be hard to understand and a little bit jarring on the ears. Which is good if you're proofreading because Eloquence is a little bit more exact and this response time is a little bit faster than this other speech synthesizer that is on the new JAWS DVD Real Speak Solo Direct. So if you're proofreading it's a good synthesizer to use but if you're just reading for pleasure or just going through email or something like that you might want something a little bit more natural sounding. So I'm going to alt tab over to Microsoft Word. JAWS Adaptive Technology Adaptive Technology Compatibility Mode Microsoft Word. Print edit. Okay, I'm in Microsoft Word, and listen to the difference between the speech. Page seven. Page one. Oh. Normally, when I write these blogs, I write about my experiences with kidney disease, but this time I decided to do something different. 
Anyone who has read my Facebook page knows that I have had problems with my pulse going up to 120 or over at the end of dialysis. Instead of talking about where. Alright, you can hear that is actually, actually the voice's uh, voice personality is called Samantha. And if you have never heard Real Big Solo Direct, it might sound, it sounds basically human. So it's, it's if you wanted to read, if you wanted to do some casual reading, that's definitely a more natural sounding voice than your eloquent software. A little bit easier on the ears. Now, as I mentioned, this is uh, kind of a say-all, uh, and I'll go into more detail about this later, but actually the way it's set up is, if I did go through it line by line, however... Man, as a blind person, I was lucky enough to grow up when adaptive technology really started taking off. Back in the old days, blind people went through school using a device called a Braille or this one. Okay, and as you can hear that when I go through it line by line, it's in the eloquence voice. However, if I do a say all command, which is insert plus numpad to a down arrow. This was a device almost like a typewriter. Braille paper went in on one side. On the other side there... Please, please. And we have Samantha. Now, another reason why you'd want to change voices is... JAWS has different cursors. Uh, this right here is your PC cursor. There's also another cursor called your JAWS cursor, which is also your mouse pointer. I'll hit my JAWS cursor button, which is the numpad minus. JAWS. So you can always tell the voice change. Normally, when clipboard styles, page paragraph mark A B B C C D D A B B C C D D A delivery eleven. Home insert page layout references mail insert new view. Okay, so I'm going up, and right now it's just reading. Apparently, I've got my mouse on the ribbon. In my PC cursor. Came up with a need three or four different things, and it was up to the reader to figure out from the context with him. And you can also change the voice for your tutorant message voice. Um, for example, upper ribbon, home tab, one of seven, the change ribbons, use left or right arrows to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab. If you wanted to change that voice that says to navigate the current ribbon, use tab or shift tab, you can change that to a different voice. The nice end, uh, the, uh, the reason behind all this is that, especially with your PC and JAWS cursor, uh, if you're like everyone else, sometimes you just get involved in things and have a lot on your mind. And with the voice changes, sometimes you might be in your might want to be using your JAWS cursor and actually be in the PC cursor and wonder why you're not being able to read the whole screen with the mouse like you should be doing. With the JAWS cursor sounding differently than the PC cursor, you will automatically know without having to check which cursor you're actually using. So it gives it a little bit more contrast and just makes things a little bit easier and a little bit more accessible for the JAWS user. So let's go ahead and next we're going to create a voice profile. I want to create a voice profile for my Internet Explorer. The first step is to create that profile. Menu bar options. The navigate press left or right arrow. Oh. And options. Menu options. Menu basics. Dot dot dot. And basics. Press up with voices sub menu. V. Voices sub menu. Voice adjustment. Dot dot dot. V. And voice adjustment. Select the voice profile. Dot dot dot. And select the voice profile. Voice adjustment. I'm going to go and click enter here on voice adjustment because I'm actually not so much selecting voice prompt. Profile. I'm actually going to change it. Going to actually change a voice profile and create a new one. Menu bar. Leaving menus. Voice adjustment. Dialog. Profile. Profile name. Combo box. Eloquence. Two of five. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. Okay, we have eloquence. Two of five. Uh, this is the voice profile that we worked on last time in the startup wizard when we were changing the rate and the punctuation. I'm going to let's let's go through all these. Show what we have here. Uh, eloquence dash left parent factory right parent. Eloquence factory. This is all the factory settings. 
that come with JAWS. When JAWS is first installed, these are the settings that you will have in your speech synthesizer. I'll start up with eloquence. El Real speak solo direct dash left parent factory right parent. Real speak solo direct factory. Sappy five dash left parent factory right parent. Sappy five factory. Sappy five. I, you probably it's very low. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but Sappy five is the synthesizer that is used in Windows Narrator. Word. Word. That is a voice profile that I have created, uh, the one that I'm using for Microsoft Word. I'm going to Eloquence. go all the way up. Let's start out with Eloquence Factory because, like I said, Eloquence is a good synthesizer. It has a little bit better response time than your Real Speak Solo Direct, so as a basis, it's a good place to start. Synthesizer language call it combo box, American English, one of ten. The change the selection use the arrow keys. Synthesizer language one of ten. Now the languages that you use will depend on the synthesizer. Uh, we got right here. We have one of ten. So let me introduce you to some of the other languages that are here in Eloquence. Um, British English. British English. Castilian Spanish. Castilian Spanish. Latin American Spanish. Latin American Spanish. French. French. French Canadian. French Canadian. German. German. Italian. Italian. Brazilian Portuguese. Brazilian Portuguese. Finnish. Finnish. American English. And profile, uh, profile if you want to. Box, eloquence dash left jaws dialogue. You love me. Okay, and I hit down arrow, and it's giving me a, giving me an error message, like Windows Vista loves to do. Uh, it's saying that I'm making changes, and if I I made changes and I hit enter, then those changes will be erased. Uh, I'm not ready to save anything yet, so I'll just hit enter. Voice adjust. Real speak solo. Click down to real speak solo direct. Now. I hit tab one more time. Synthesizer language, colon combo box, English, one of five. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Okay, we have English one of five this time instead of one of ten. So I arrow down to see the different languages. French. French. Chinese. Chinese. Spanish. Spanish. Turkish left parent, Turkey right parent. And Turkish left parent, Turkey. Okay. English. Let's go back up to English and actually I'm going to move back up to Eloquence. It's going to give me an error message here in a minute. So. Profile. There Just we go. Up. You have made. Voice of Eloquence dash left parent factory right parent. Eloquence factory. Synthesizer language call it combo box. American English one of ten. English. Synthesizer detects at before synthesizers dot 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 button. Detect SAPI 4. SAPI 4 is a speech synthesized speech engine that as was used to be used in older versions of JAWS. And if you still have one of those speech engines, then you would activate this button so you'd be still be able to use it. Voice adjust call it combo box. All contexts. One of six. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. All plus V. Now this is where as I mentioned, there's differences between the PC and the JAWS cursor voice. You can change the voice there or tutor and message voice. This is where you select those options. Uh, I'm going to change the PC cursor voice, but before I do, there's a couple different things that I want to show you that will only show up in all context. Voice, rate, colon, 50, voice, punctuate, voice, spell, rate, change, percent, colon, edit, minus 20, type of text. Voice spell rate minus 20. The, what this is referring to is that when you want to spell a word, you can hit your insert plus numpad 5 twice quickly and it'll spell a word and it will spell it at a slower rate than it will actually read. Um, let's, let me show you. Adaptive technology. 8. format, there are more combinations. Like, um, if I want to 
Lang, there were two types of devices. Okay, I'm on devices. Devices semicolon. Now, if I wanted to spell it. Device, D-E-V-I-C-E-S. So it's spelling it at a little bit slower rate. Um, JAWS, Untitled Dash Notepad, Documents, Test, Adapt JAWS, Voice Adjustment Dot. So you can see it was spelling at a slightly different, slightly slower rate than it was reading. And this is where you'd control that. Voice uppercase pitch change percent colon edit 20 type of text. Uppercase pitch change 20%. This means it would be when it sees a capital letter and you're going through it word by word or letter by letter, it would be, it would, the capital letter would be pronounced at a higher pitch rate 20% of normal. Um, Adapter tech. For example, semicolon, device of type 2, blank, T, H, E, R, E, space. You notice that the T was pronounced at a higher pitch than the rest of the word and the rest of the word. This is where you'd go to change that. Uh, Jaws. Voice adjustment. I don't want to mess with that. Uh, I just want to change the PC cursor. So. Voice step, voice, voice, rate call, voice adjust call, and combo box. All PC cursor. I have PC cursor. Uh, I'm going to... Go ahead and change this. Voice three colon fifty seven left right slider fifteen percent to increase or decrease use the arrow keys. I hit tab, so I'm at right voice rate. I need to change the voice rate. Um, as just like before, use your 16%, 17%, up arrow or right arrow to change it or. 28%. Page up or page down. 18%. For larger increments. Uh, I find 25% is a nice, good, even speech rate for me. 28%. And for those of you out there, it should be easier, easily understood, not too fast, not too slow. 25%. So I'm going to change that to 25%. Voice punctuation call and combo box, most 3 or 4. Voice punctuation combo box most. Uh, I'm going to go and leave it here and uh, I will show you in more detail why at, in the moment. It goes back to uh, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a different voice for say all and have the change the punctuation to none or some. But for going through it line by line, it's Setting up at most would did help you detect uh, punctuations that if you're proofreading, you might want to be there or might not want to be there. So I'm going to leave this at most. Voice person call the combo box. Read one of eight to change the select. Read. Uh, this is voice person combo box. Read. Um, we have. Um, voice, voice person call the combo box. Read one of eight to change. As, as it said, you have eight choices. Let's go through them. Chili. Chili. Bobby. Bobby, a little kid's voice. Rocco. Rocco. Glenn. Glenn. Sandy. Sandy. Grandma. Grandma. Grandpa. And Grandpa. Well, let's go ahead and now we're back up to Rocco. Grandma. Sandy. Glenn. Rocco. Bobby. Rocco. Rocco. Okay. Go ahead and hit tab once. Voice, pitch colon 60, left and right slider, 59%. The increase or decrease with the arrow keys. To increase or decrease, use the arrow keys. So I want to get the pitch or a little bit lower. Um, so I want to get it to 50%. 50 percent. 50 percent. Hit page down, and I'm at 50 percent. 40, not 48, 47 percent. And I can also use the arrow keys until I get to the voice that I want. Say all speech synthesizer pull the combo box. Default blend of three. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus L. Say all speech. This is when I hit your my insert plus down arrow. This is the speech that I'm gonna hear. I want it to be a different speech. I want it to sound a little bit more relaxed. If I'm doing say all, I want my speech to sound a little bit more human sounding. So I'm going to arrow down. Real speak solo direct. 
I have aired down to real speak solo direct. That's a good voice for me. Say all rate colon fifty left right slider forty nine percent to increase or decrease. Say all. I'm going to want it to be fifty eight percent, fifty nine percent, sixty percent. Reading a little bit faster, so sixty one percent, sixty percent. I have it here at sixty percent. Say all punctuation colon combo box all four of four to change the selection. And say all punctuation all. Now, the way it's set right now, it's going to read every punctuation that it comes across. So, if I'm reading an email or a web page, I'm going to be slowed down considerably by every punctuation form that just comes across. So, I'm going to go ahead Most, some, none. and set this to none. Uh, the reason is, for example, if I came across uh, I used the example last time, the boys are here. If I had it on all, it would say the boy apostrophe s are here. If I have it set at none, it would say the boys are here. It just makes things a little faster. Say all person, combo box, Tom United States, nine of nine. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. I have Tom United States. So as you can hear, we have nine choices. Let's, let's go through them. See if we can find a good voice. I have Tom. Samantha, United States. I have Samantha. That's a good choice. Uh, we heard that earlier. Jill, United States. Jill, a uh, different option for the United States. Sanji, India. Uh, Sanji, India. Serena, United Kingdom. Serena, United Kingdom. Emily, United Kingdom. Emily. Daniel, United Kingdom. Daniel, United Kingdom. Lee, Australia. Lee. Karen, Australia. Karen. Now, I want a little bit of class and refinement, so I'm going to go down to Serena. Lee, Daniel, you. Emily, United Kingdom. Serena, United Kingdom. She sounds a little bit older, a little bit more refined, and uh, well, if you know me, you know sometimes, some days I need all the refinement I can get. Say all. Volume. 80. Left, right slider. 77%. To increase or decrease, use the arrow keys. So we have say all eighty. I want it to. I want the volume to be a little bit higher so it can stick out from any of the other messages that I'm going to be getting from tutor message or the menu items. Eighty-seven percent. Eighty-eight percent. Ninety percent. Okay, I have ninety percent. As you can tell, it's a little bit louder. And hit. Tab one more time. I'm here at the save as dot dot dot. Save voice profile dialog. Voice profile name code and combo eloquence. Select the four. To set the value, use the arrow keys or type the value alt plus D. Has save voice profile as eloquence because eloquence was the name of the profile that we originally started out as. So if I hit enter here on OK, then it would replace the eloquence profile with this. I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to use this specifically for Internet Explorer. So I'm going to type in here Internet Explorer. Okay, button to activate. Press space bar. Alt plus O. Tab once, and I'm hit. Okay. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile. Profile name colon combo box. Internet Explorer 606. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. Make the default voice profile dialog. Do you want to make Internet Explorer the default voice profile? Yes button. To activate, press space bar. Alt plus Y. Now, it's asking me, do I want to make this my default voice profile? The default voice profile would be the profile that you would use when JAWS starts up. And no, I would not. No button to activate. So, press space no. bar. Alt plus N. Voice adjustment dialog. Profile. Profile name. Combo box. Internet Explorer. Two of six. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Alt plus P. And I'm here at the voice profile name Internet Explorer. And what I can do from here is I can. Profile delete button. To activate. Delete this profile. Synthesizer language combo box. Uh, change the language. Synthesizer detects happy for synthesizers. Dot, 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 See, I'm back in the same dialog box that I was before. Voice adjust combo box. All contexts. One of six. 
And here we are at all context. Uh, say, like. PC cursor voice, JAWS cursor voice, keyboard voice, clear and message, menu and dialog voice. Okay, so you can hear the different voices here. Say, I want to change one of those. This is where I would do it from, and I could go back until I have all the voices changed to my specifications. Um, but I like it here, so I'm going to just tab back of shift tab till I hit OK. Synthesis, synthesis, profile, profile, cancel, apply, but save with OK button. Jaws. OK, and now I'm here at the Jaws screen. Now let's go ahead and make this an application specific, specific voice. How we do that? Is first of all, I want to use this for Internet Explorer. So let's go in open Internet Explorer. Okay, I'm at Internet Explorer. So let me go ahead and open up the profile settings from here using the hotkey. Insert plus Control plus S. Jaws dialog. Select the voice profile dialog. Default combo box. Eloquence. One to five. To change so the selection, have... use the arrow keys. Alt plus B. Default eloquence. We'll speak solo direct factory. We'll speak solo direct factory. Sappy five factory. Sappy five factory. Word. Word. Internet Explorer. And here's the new one, Internet Explorer. Uh, this is the. This combo, this combo box is going to determine what speed synthesizer I'm using now. Now, if I wanted to make this my permanent speech profile for Internet Explorer, to have this come on automatically whenever I would turn on Internet Explorer, I would for Internet Explorer, tap once. Combo box, use default. One six, to change the selection, use the arrow keys, Alt plus F. Okay, I have tabbed over, it says use default for Internet Explorer. I will arrow down. Eloquence. Eloquence. We'll speak solo. Direct factory. We'll speak solo. Step you five factory. Sorry. Word. Step you five Internet word. Explorer. And Internet Explorer. OK button. Edit. And here we are. So let's hear how it sounds. I'm going to hit say all. Link screen read. Screen reader users, click here to turn off Google Instant. List of eight items. Web. Images. Videos, maps, news, shopping, Gmail, more. Live. Okay, so you can hear the difference. Now, I'm going to show you kind of a compare and contrast. Jaws, adaptive technology. Adaptive technology. Dot, dot, compatibility mode, Microsoft Word. Print edit. Here we are in Microsoft Word. There were two types of devices, Braille accessible and speech accessible. The first two met. Space, space. So you can already hear the difference between the speech and word. Google dash Windows Internet Explorer. Google. List end. List of three items. Sign in. Opt Option. And the speech in Internet Explorer. So. Options link. Home tab. Window. Jaws. Untitled dash notepad. Untitled dash close out. Notepad dialog. Please don't save button. Adaptive technology. Jaws. Document desktop. Adaptive. Let's close out some of options. Finally, the last thing, what if I wanted to change to a different language? And modify one of the one of the profiles that I already have. Well, Document, desktop, JAWS. let's do that right now. I'm going to shift tab over to my JAWS, alt tab open to my JAWS rather. I'm at the JAWS window. Um, JAWS. Let me menu bar options to navigate. Press left or right arrow. O. Go down to voices. Menu options. Voices sub. Voice adjustment. Dot dot dot. V. And voice adjustment. Menu bar. Leaving menus. Voice adjustment. Dialog. Profile. Profile. Name. Colon. Combo box. Internet Explorer. Six of six. To change the selection, use the arrow key. Alt plus key. Now I'm taking some Spanish courses, so I want my word documents to be able to be spoken in Spanish. Word. So I would arrow up to word. Profile delete button. Activate press space bar. Alt plus P. Hit tab once profile delete. I don't want to delete it. Synthesizer, synthesizer name, combo box, eloquence software. Two up synthesizer land up synthesizer. Okay, eloquence. I still want to use eloquence. 
as my synthesizer bass. Okay. Here we are in synthesizer language. British English. British English. Still in Spanish. Uh, this is uh, this is America. Texas, so we speak more Latin American Spanish, which is, if you don't know, can be a little bit different from Castilian Spanish. Latin American Spanish. So here we are at Latin American. Now, as you can see, it's already speaking a little bit of Spanish here. Uh, I'm going to leave these settings. I am, however, going to want to alter the say all voice. Say all speech synthesizer combo box. Real speak solo direct. To say all rate 60. Left right slider 59%. To increase or decrease, use the arrow keys. Say all speech synthesis. Real speak. Real speak solo direct. Say all. Rate, say all punctuation, say all person, combo box, blank. To change the selection, use the arrow keys. Paulina Mexico. Okay, see, I'm at the change person. And. Paulina Mexico, uno of uno. It's, yeah, you can tell it already sounds a little bit different. I changed the voice there, so I'm going to go ahead and. Sayan, volume. Okay, button. Tap okay, okay. over to my OK. It's asking me if I want to make default. I don't. Now, let's see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and open up that same document that I had before, the one about adapt technology. Documents, documents, folder view, list view, adapt. I'm Okay, and as you can tell, the voice is it has a Spanish dialect. And so, in conclusion, uh, we demonstrated how to chain, make, create a voice profile. I showed you why you need to do it or why you'd want to do it. And also, how to change to a different dialect if you wanted to. And modify a speech profile. Uh, if you have more questions, please go to the JAWS website at www.freemscientific.com to check out JAWS or any other Freedom Scientific Products. Next section, my next lesson, I'm going to be going over JAWS cursors and some just easy navigation commands for navigating a document. I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.